Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson, and I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about rituximab for the treatment of inflammatory arthritis. You can visit our website, www.rheuminfo.com, and print off one of our rituximab picto pamphlets to follow along with this video. Rituximab is also known as rituxan. Rituximab is given by an intravenous infusion. The first infusion is given on day zero, followed by a second infusion two weeks later. Each infusion takes four to six hours and is given by a specially trained nurse at an infusion center. The treatment may be repeated every six months, although some people can go longer between treatments. Now, some people can feel better quite quickly after starting rituximab, but for others, they can take a little longer. There are a few things you need to do when you're taking rituximab. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, rituximab can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. You should not take rituximab if you develop a fever, if you think you have an infection, or if you're given antibiotics to treat an infection. Second, before starting rituximab, you should have a blood test for hepatitis B. And finally, you should have occasional blood tests while taking rituximab. This is important to keep track of your arthritis and make sure your blood counts are okay. Rituximab can rarely cause an allergic reaction during the infusion. These reactions usually aren't severe and you'll be closely monitored by a trained nurse. To prevent these reactions, a medication called solumedrol, which is a steroid, is given before each infusion. Rituximab should be stopped before surgery. It can be restarted once things have healed and there's no sign of infection. If you're having surgery, talk to your doctor about when to stop the medication. Rituximab hasn't been properly studied in pregnancy. Let your doctor know if you're pregnant, planning to get pregnant, or if you're breastfeeding. Rituximab has been rarely associated with abnormal heart rhythms during the infusion. And finally, severe skin reactions have rarely been reported in patients receiving rituximab. If you're receiving rituximab, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, or if you're concerned about any side effects. For rituximab, there are a few other specific reasons to call your doctor. If you have a fever or think you have an infection, if you're planning surgery, if you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, if you plan to get any vaccinations, or if you develop a rash. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.